Here are the top three passive income ideas of this year and how complete beginners earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More at that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Fasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. We literally have a 62-year-old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days. Check it out in the free workshop below. You know what I think is like the dumbest thing in the world, and it just like literally makes no sense. And it's something that I just noticed when I was just younger, right? And you know, my entire life, I would literally see my parents, for example, work, and they would, you know, trade all of their time for money, right? And the more they traded, the more time for money. They still never had money to show for it, and yet I still never saw them much when I was younger because they were always at work. And it just made me wonder, is this like how life is? You literally work to make money that you never have enough to actually spend on your living expenses, so you go ahead and, for example, keep on working, and you keep on doing that until you die. Right, and that was just like ridiculous. I didn't want to be stuck into that mentality. I felt like I was, you know, plugged into the matrix, and I needed to get out, and I needed to realize a way to finally win back my time and separate my time from my money because I didn't want to fall down that path. Yet, of course, like any Asian kid would have, have you, right? I ended up going down that path just from like the sheer societal forces that forced me that, hey, buddy, don't don't think for yourself. Don't find ways to make money online. Don't create passive income because you have to do what everyone else is doing because you, you don't want to be you don't want to be different, right? You don't want to stick out. You don't want to like fail, right? And because of that, just programming of society, I ended up kind of being molded like a like a little robot down that path. And it wasn't until I started like realizing like this is stupid. I don't want to go ahead and do this my entire life. I need to find a way to separate my time for money because I want to go ahead and do this my entire life. I don't want to go ahead and, for example, just end up in the same white picket fence with like someone that you know we're not actually in love with, and we have like two and a half kids, and then we're just stuck in a job that we hate, just kind of like reminiscing about the younger years, wishing, oh man, I wish I traveled. I wish I, for example, you know, had more exciting experiences. I wish I like you know literally lived my life instead of just like watching others out of TV, right? And that's literally what I ended up doing. I was like, okay, screw this. I'm done doing all these things. I'm gonna find a way to make passive income so I can start living my life. And you could see things started happening like crazy, man. Like I just grabbed my ukulele. I'm like, okay, I'm done with this. Grabbed my ukulele and just like started taking a one-way trip ticket around the world. And you could see, I mean, everyone wants a basic shot of Machu Picchu. I ended up getting it. Everyone wanted to like swim, take a selfie with like a whale shark. I ended up getting it. And you could see everyone wants to hang out with like animals and, and whatnot in like Asia or, or Africa or South America or Europe. It doesn't matter, right? And I ended up doing that and as well as like taking the people I care about all around the world as well as teaching it two people, right? And when people go ahead and see this and when I go to like these events and whatnot, they're like, Mike, okay, well, that, that's cool for you now that you've had experience, but what if I wanna go ahead and separate my time for money and I have no experience? What if I want passive income and I have no experience? I don't know sales, I don't know marketing, I don't know technological savvinessness, I don't have like mentors, I don't know where to begin, I'm stuck, Mike, I'm stuck, I'm stuck and I wanna go ahead and get out. What would I go ahead and do? Well, one of the first things you go ahead and do, what I ended up doing, this by far was one of the first ways that got me you know, freedom. And I don't mean like freedom, like millions of dollars, Bugatti money. I mean a hundred dollars a day, okay? Like I don't, like all those people that are like 16 years old saying, I made 20 grand in an hour, you know, on YouTube, a hundred dollars a day is enough to just, you know, start literally tasting what it's like to you know, not have to worry about taking that extra shift or you know, applying for that job that you know would literally hurt your soul, right? $100 a day was like all I needed to start you know, not feeling like a loser amongst all my friends. And $100 a day isn't bad for people just getting started, right? So one of the first ways that I did it was, I mean, look at this, okay, it's pretty obvious. Look, just go to ebay.com, type in the word bunk bed cherry, right? And you'll see all these like bunk beds going for like 300, 400 bucks, right? These exact same bunk beds, exists on Walmart for $249. So I kid you not, one of the things that I did like earlier is I was like, dude, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste, copy and paste from Walmart onto eBay, Walmart to eBay, Walmart to eBay. And I'm gonna continue on doing that until I can eventually get a sale. Because when I was just getting started, I mean, eBay to create a listing, it's free until of course like you have to upgrade when you have too many listings. Cause I just went crazy. I was like, oh my God, I'm just gonna have like a thousand listings because in my mind, if I can make, you know, like a couple dollars per sale per month, I mean, that, that's a good amount of income that, that could come into my life, right? 
And you can see, look at this. Like I remember, like for example, a couple weeks before Christmas, uh, when it actually started hitting. This was only literally a couple weeks when I first started. Uh, my phone made a cha-ching, and I'm like, oh my god, I made a sale. And I had the shipping details, and I had the money. And I'm like, okay, if I have the shipping details and the money, I'll just buy it for a lower cost at a place that's not eBay, and then ship it directly to the customer and pocket the difference. Okay, so I don't care who you are, right? I didn't have to like be good looking. I didn't have to be like good at sales. And I just literally, just from sheer hustle, copying and pasting pictures on Walmart and Amazon and Overstock and all these places to eBay and just wait for a sale. And you can see exactly how some of these people are making money. Like if I just click on this, you can see, look at this. This person, 343, like, like, like that they sold for, and you can see the other items that they do. You can see exactly to the extent how much they're making money. Like this person has 170 results. Okay, so if one of those sales, like for 343, then you can see that the cost is 249. Just do the math if they do that once a month, right? You could come into like, for example, sold listings and get an idea of all the ones that they've sold. Look at this. They've sold this, they've sold this, they've sold this, they've sold this. And the only time they ever actually buy the product is after they've made the sale. So it's almost like no risk, right? You see another version of this doing it right here. Like here's another one sold for $361, right? And you could see that like it's way more than that on eBay than it is on Walmart. And this person's also doing it as well. We could see, check out the sold listings as well. So you can see all the ones that have recently sold. Again, it's all these like crazy, like expensive furnitures and stuff that they literally take the money. Like this person doesn't have this. Do you think this person has 400 products at all times, right? And you can see like they take the money and the shipping details, they buy it at a lower cost and they ship it, right? So that's just one way. Another way that people are making money is just leveraging some other platform that could do all of the traditional business sense of that logistics for you, right? Because you can make passive income with a business, but of course you need expertise. Like before I knew business, I had to learn sales, I had to learn marketing, I had to learn how to create or find or source a product. I had to find like product delivery methods and logistics and deal with all that stuff. And it was like a big, 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 big learning curve. Okay, it's not impossible, but, but you do have to put in some time and effort to learn a skill, like in anything, man. Like you wanna be a dentist, you wanna be a doctor, you're gonna have to go to school for a long time and not get paid and apprentice under someone and then eventually you'll get paid, right? What's well, the exact same thing with making money in line, but there's also ways that you could go ahead and leverage other things that are already working and just tap into that. Now, the beautiful of that is why just do it yourself when you could tap into, for example, Jeff Bezos's billion, nearly trillion dollar machine, okay? Why? Amazon, look, think about this. They'll do the selling for you. They'll do the marketing for you. There's millions of people going there. The product, they have services where you could create products for free. You don't have to spend a single dollar on inventory and they'll do the product delivery. Meaning someone goes to Amazon, they buy, they're like, oh my God, I want, for example, toilet paper. I've been stuck in my house and you know, I just don't wanna go outside and buy toilet paper. I don't wanna go and even like see sunlight. I don't know, I'm just like weird that way. And you know, I don't know, I run up, right? And oh my God, I need to wipe my butt. This is crazy, I have a huge problem. I'm gonna go to Amazon, type in the word toilet paper, and do you see all these things that pop up? This just means Amazon's telling me like, hey buddy, these are what people are searching for. And if people are searching for it and you create content for this, you can be found for this and then you can potentially make money when someone goes in and clicks, buys, ships it directly into their hand, uh, view drones, and then you make money because Amazon does all of that. So what is your responsibility? Your responsibility is finding keywords like this that have very low competition, not things that have 22,000 reviews. So what I would do if I was just getting started and I wanna make passive income is literally find ways to rank things on Amazon. Remember, you don't need inventory because for example, you can go ahead and for example, type in merch.amazon.com and you can sell like apparel, like t-shirts and clothing and hoodies for free as Amazon products reaching millions of customers worldwide with no often investment or cost to you. Now, even if you don't have any graphic design skills, I'll teach you exactly how to do this. Literally, there's free methods as well. So one of the things that you could do, like for example, I have a cute beagle. Even though like, I love her to death and sometimes she pees on my pillow, I still love her and I'm crazy about it, right? If I type in the word beagle, look at this. Beagle gifts for women, beagle gifts for men, beagle gifts for beagle lovers. All these things are people are searching for. So this is what I would put in my title. Does that make sense? And then I would go ahead and click on that, right? So what I wanna do is find out if, when I click on it on the first page, are there a lot of reviews or if there's little, like less than 100? Because if there's less than 100 in designs that aren't you know, that popular in other platforms and I can move it here, then there's a competitive advantage. 
If I just click on this, you can see that, you know, here's one t-shirt on the first page, no reviews, literally no reviews, right? So how would I go ahead and do this, right? A life is better with the beagle. Here's another one. Here's another one. The beagles, right? Only a couple t-shirts for this keyword, right? 17 reviews. So it's not too bad. How would I go ahead and make this if I bad at graphic design, but I want to make passive income, right? I would just go to Pinterest, type in the specific thing that I want and just get all the ideas that you know I'd want. So got to have more cats, best cat dad ever, oops, I don't care, best cat mom ever. I could even take this exact same idea and I could do two things. Number one, I could go to upwork.com, type in the word, uh, for example, graphic designer, make sure they're from the Philippines in location and make sure they're $10 an hour and below. And you can see people from the Philippines are literally gonna do this work for literally $5 an hour to $6 an hour, 100% job success, right? So I remember back in the day, I would like just get a bunch of designs, I would just send them over to, to the Philippines and I would average $2 a design because some of these designs could potentially make me $100 a month in passive income, right? And remember, like in this method, you're dealing with like Amazon, so if you go ahead and do this, like you could just rank for as many designs as you want for free, does that make sense? Or if you're really bad and you don't wanna go ahead and do this, you could go to, for example, canva.com, type in the word t-shirt, and you can make these designs with all of these like templates you could go ahead and take some of the words like best cat mom ever. I could come in here and just type in best beagle mom ever. And just like that, just stick with text, download, upload it on merch.amazon.com, put the keyword in there, and then bam, it's up on Amazon, right? A lot of you guys could do these first two methods like literally today. Post your first like eBay thing today from Walmart. Just even like start, maybe try even selling like this bunk bed, right? Here's like one example, or maybe try doing it on Amazon, right? Just, you wanna think about it like a portfolio. Like this person has a portfolio. Like if we just look at, you know, for example, all of the listings, let's just take this out. This person has a portfolio of 487 products that they're selling on eBay. If one product gets $10 of profit a month, that's four grand a month profit right there. This person was just beginning, so you could see that this person only had like 100, right? 170 results, but heck, you know, you could literally throw it up there, very low risk. Same thing with Amazon. If you get one design that pays you $100 a month, you know, like, what if you get 10 designs? What if you got 100 designs? What if you have 1,000 designs? Do you understand that you could only take advantage of the opportunity of the lifetime, in the lifetime of the opportunity before more people like actually start seeing this? Does that make sense? Now, the third way that you can start making money, passive income, is what I like seeing with passive income is not necessarily starting a business because like, you know, I've started many businesses in the past and it was a headache because I had to deal with all the stress, I had to do shipping and handling, I had to do customer service, I had to worry about hiring teams and all those things, and I had to worry about competition coming in, right? So what was one way that I could circumnavigate it? Well, one way that I loved making passive income was literally ClickBank, because they literally have high commissions, more money than like all the other passive income ideas that I've tried in the past, right? Like look at this, for some like products, they have $100 plus per commission. So it's a lot easier to hit your income goals when you have bigger commission chunks than you do with like, for example, five or $10 commissions like you would do with like these other ones. Like some of these I would like profit five, 10, you know, dollars per sale. But with ClickBank, I would sometimes sell a hundred dollars plus per commission. So to hit my goal of like five grand a month was a lot faster, right? And the first time I did this was in the health and fitness niche, right? And you could see me literally doing this, like check this out back in 2018. I went from zero to eight grand in 30 days, okay? Like what business can you go through where you don't have to have your own product, you don't have to do shipping and handling, you don't have to do customer service, and you can literally go ahead and do that in 30 days. Not much, right? And you can see exactly that's why like, I enjoyed using ClickBank when I was first getting started in passive income. But right now there's actually a brand new way to make passive income, and it's literally what people in our community are doing, right? Like we literally have Dina, a stay-at-home mom at age 47 years old, go from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks with this brand new passive income method. And if you wanna know exactly what she did and hundreds of other people that were just like her, are also doing right now, then sign up for the six free workshop below as well as check out this video on this podcast right here. Hopefully this helps. Love you guys. See you guys later. Woo!